mentioned in a previous video that I'm scared to get old. Because see, elderly like children are the most vulnerable in society, but at least when you get out of your childhood initially, you're in early adulthood and you have a while till you get older. But this society's disrespect for the elderly knows no bounds. In an ideal world, common sense would say when you get to that elderly age that you've lived out your time, you've done your time to work, your time for sacrifice. And as you get older, ideally, at least in the United States, I can't speak of other countries, but it should be this way all over the world, that you should be able to rest and relax and enjoy the rest of your life. Enjoy your grandchildren. Enjoy your great grandchildren. I'm, so this story, we're going to discuss it, right? The story that's coming up if it hadn't appeared on my screen yet. After uh, I go over the initial, I'm going to take this in a direction that people probably aren't going to appreciate, but just hear me out, okay? So far back as December, 2023, this lady's family, because she has dementia and has li lived in a uh, care facility, 93 years old, started to suspect that their loved one was being abused when she had bruises on her now mind you this lady is has severe dementia probably doesn't know who she is half the time so they put a hidden nanny cam in her room and they discovered this 26 year old uh thing because that's what i'm gonna call her because she acted she acted like a monster and that's what she is was beat the woman on camera with a soiled diaper. Put her in a chokehold or choked her some type of way. And you can see her taking her fist and hitting her and the woman holding her arms up in distress. As this much younger 20 something is beating her and she can do nothing. And of course, who is she going to tell? She's in severe dementia. As a person who both my grandmothers uh, died of and one in 2018, five days before Christmas, we didn't have that good of a relationship because she had said things that I didn't particularly care for. And my second one, whom I was close, I flew out for her funeral in 2022, was my last living grandparent. And because I had the closest relationship with her of any of my grandparents, though she had her flaws too, we, they, we all do. There was an emptiness for, for leaving her in Alabama while I'm sitting in Washington. But I can remember years ago, she urged me to stay in Washington. There's an emptiness when you can't be with those people. Cause my grandma was also in an assisted living facility and my aunt had questions but couldn't prove anything and my grandmother died before we could get answers um it's hurtful when this happens to your loved ones um the video if that isn't bad enough revealed that staff staff being plural okay were also seen stealing and taking things out of this lady's room. So everybody at this assisted living facility failed this woman. So at 26 years old, the only other offenses this woman had was shoplifting. Okay. Oh, you about to do some jail time because you assaulted someone. It's, and then the article is even saying this is akin to life in prison. I don't know how to take that simply because though she assaulted this lady, she didn't kill her. So I don't know that they can give a life sentence for that. Pardon my computer because they always want to make that noise when it's convenient. All these updates. Okay. Okay. Here, 
here's the direction that I'm about to take this. And before I do, let me say my condolences go out to the 93 year old lady's family. Because the way I'm about to take this, I'm not rationalizing her behavior. She should sit under a jail for far as I'm concerned. At 26 years old and you're striking someone 93 years old that you know can't fight back, don't even know who they are. You are a coward of the worst kind and there is no other way to get around that. I don't care who you are and I don't care who this offends. This woman is a coward of the worst kind. She is a monster. And don't tell, oh, she did a monstrous act. No, if they had to catch her on camera because they saw bruises, that means she got some sort of satisfaction out of her youth and using her youth to attack this woman as if you're not going to be old one day if the Lord willing in the creek don't rise on you. Sad for this lady to have to live in distress. So my condolences go to you as a person who had um, two grandmothers with it, one in an assisted living facility. And we still don't fully know what was going on in that living facility because my grandmother would make faces and we suspected things were going on, but we never found out because she died before we could in 2022. My heart goes out to you. Now, if she got life in prison, I wouldn't care. She can sit under the jail for all I care. Because this is disgusting and she's old enough to know better. Now that I got that rant out of the way, here's where I'm going to take this conversation that might offend people. What does this woman's past record of petty shoplifting and this have in common and don't say oh the shoplifting is separate from this what happens when you're in your mid to late 20s and you haven't built skills you resort to desperation and what desperation makes you do is takes jobs that you know deep down that you're not equipped to handle because being a caregiver it takes a certain type of person to do that job i couldn't do it i've always said and my aunt and i had this conversation if i ever had kids and i started to slip i would tell them to put me in a facility and go live their life i don't know that i can watch my kid change my diaper that's just me then again if i ever develop dementia you just don't know see people think people just shoplift just to steal but particularly amongst fbas because of delayed gratification i think a lot of our young people particularly young women do it because they have to keep up appearances but don't have the money to do so because they hadn't built the skills see it has everything to do with what happened in that living facility because she went from being a petty thief and tried to redeem herself uh, or that's the assumption i'm going to make into someone give me more information but she had had no previous record of putting her paws on people no, what she did was took a job that paid a decent amount of money to live a certain lifestyle. But she didn't want that job at the expense of the uh, duties that it entails. What I mean is, is that when you're dealing with a dementia patient, you must practice a certain amount of patience with them at all times. Because that person no longer, they, they will only get worse, okay? Because if, if, if I'm not mistaken, dementia eats holes in the brain. So that person won't know who they are, where they are, what their achievements were or lack thereof in society. All they know is that their body is betraying them and that they can't do anything about it. But see, people like you took that job because you only care about the paycheck that it's going to give you because you never built any skills. 
And because you had a past criminal record, you needed the path to quick, uh, to quick money and quick money is taking this job. Don't get me wrong. Those jobs don't pay exceptionally well, but they pay well enough. So my theory is that because she's young, really didn't want to be changing an old woman's diaper. She just wanted that old woman to do what she wanted her to do when she wanted her to do it. But when you're dealing with a disease like dementia or any type of dementia type disease, Alzheimer's, Lewy bodies, um, you got to have patience. This is not me being compassionate because she put her hands on that woman and didn't have no business doing that. But the, but the number one reason I believe she's in this situation is because she never built any skills. And when you don't build skills, when you're younger, this is going to happen. And here come people. Well, you got to stop being judgmental and la, la, la. Some people don't have the money or the fortitude to do that. The problem with that argument is, is that Udemy is not that expensive. Coursera, not that expensive. Okay. I think it was Google that lets you get an account log on, or do they do it through Coursera that lets you get uh, certain technical skills? See, everybody wants life to be fair and easy, but it's not. See, she saw this, probably saw this as an easy paycheck and wanted that woman to not be so what she think is needy because she wanted an easy job of just sitting around and doing a whole lot of nothing. This is just as much a lesson of someone who doesn't build their skills and therefore lose patience with the most vulnerable than to take responsibility for the, the, the bad decisions they make. Prove me wrong. Again, my condolences for the family of whom this happened to. If you know you lack patience, if you know you are a certain type of person, you better start building your skills because you don't wanna be this.